guys uh real quick a lot of the subscribers have asked for me to do a toolbox tour i have uh, multiple toolboxes um, this was like a twelve hundred dollar uh, tool kit with built-in or toolbox upper and lower chest for home depot had it because there was a little scratch on the back right here they marked it down from like twelve or thirteen hundred dollars down to like seven hundred bucks i bought it immediately I've had this thing for about two years now, beat the living hell out of it. It's got a little bottle opener and stuff on the side. It's got two built-in power banks on both sides. There's one there, and then there's one back here on this side. And, um, you know, just power tools. I like Milwaukee. I like Mac. Uh, so I buy some of the, like, Milwaukee Stubby, quarter-inch drive, three-inch drive, quarter-inch drive. Um... Let's see here. My battery packs are back here. I've got a couple of them back here. There's another one over there in the corner. Um, what else here? Uh, quarter inch drawer, all nothing but quarter inch stuff. Just random like Allen's, Torx's, files, anything just odd. This is a personal drawer here. We're not gonna go in there. Uh, just all types of random screwdrivers and picks and I'm not loyal to any brand. It's whatever whatever works works Some of my pliers and things like this pretension uh, pliers pipe cutter uh, Special crimpers and stuff like that uh, I've got some more in my other box that I have at home But this is just the basic stuff. And I still have some stuff out in a vehicle that I'm actually working on This is random stuff blow guns uh, chemical blow guns different adaptions for my grinders and things like that specialty oil filter sockets like a magnetic reach claw thing back there a bunch of pry bars and stuff my t gauges whenever i'm measuring the inside of cylinder board and stuff compression gauge uh stethoscope etc etc this needs to go back up here that's gold and let's see here um all kinds of like old school brake tools and stuff like that that i still use to this day uh, I got fuel line fittings and stuff in here, feeler gauges and stuff when I'm doing cylinder heads, checking for clearances. Uh, this is just random oddball uh, wrenches and stuff that I have, crescent wrenches, a vacuum tester. Um, this is an old CP air gun that this thing smacks. This thing is wild when you use this thing. It's This thing's like probably 40 years old or something like that. It's older than me. And I don't know. Let's see if we can see uh zip gun cp rated at 90 psi this old it's really really old i have a newer one um but that one there there's cut off wheel and stuff in here uh pry tools from snap on i really like that set of pry tools from snap on but the mechanic that works on that side of the shop over there it started to slowly go out on him and then when he went on vacation he was like here if you want this you can have it i have another brand new one down here uh, by Aircat in the back. It's a lighter duty one. Uh, this drawer saws all caulk gun, big hammers and stuff down in there, small hammers in there. Some of my bigger sockets up to like 38, 40 millimeter. Um, but when he went on vacation, I took that air gun and I actually pulled it all apart. There was a diaphragm in there. Uh, I think it's flex diaphragm is what it's called or whatever. I just pulled everything apart, cleaned it all up, and greased it all, put it all back together. Thing works like it's brand new. And now that is a smacking son of a gun right there. Because when I got it from him, he was like, dude, I don't know if you're going to like this thing or not, but it's literally older than you. I'm 35 years old. And he said that thing, he had that for four or five years. Um, he said probably had it four or five years longer than you were even alive. So it's around 40 years old, he said. Um, cheap ratcheting wrenches that i don't care if i break them got them off like amazon they're like you know uh 10 12 11 uh, 13 14 16 15 17 and then uh i think i don't know what they are this is this one they're double-sided one side is one one side is the other ratcheting wrenches they're real cheap they're no good uh $450 set of expert line ratcheting wrenches. I love this set. I've had them for a long time. Just a lot of my metric stuff that I use every single day off brand. Um, I use these a lot. I'm always going back to this drawer a lot. And I use a lot of the longer ones. There's a couple of standard ones in there that I use for like uh, leverage. But these are all metric wrenches. Some of my line wrenches and stuff are up here in this, the smaller line wrenches. Down here is a box full of nothing but specialty tools. I'm talking. Um, the my 
power probe, but it's like the more, the nicer green one that you can flip the screen up and down and it's got more options and stuff to it. And underneath it is a flip socket set that I never even touched. The green box down there is a uh, harmonic balancer puller for like the three fives and stuff like that. It's a specialty one I got. Then there's a uh, vacuum lift and what is this one? This is a cooling system pressure tester powered by Mac, Mac Tools. My, my Matco. Matco, sorry, not Mac Tools, Matco. And then I have a, um, oh, there's another one around here. There's, there it is right there. That is a pneumatic pressure tester. This is for CV axles and stuff. This is my expensive uh, digital. That's my uh, expensive digital snap-on double angle finder. This is a 10-piece or 18-piece uh, disc brake caliper set, you know, the tool that turns the piston in. There's another timing set right here for um, Orion Motor Tech. I got this on Amazon, just like the OEM one, pretty much. Um, this is a Tecton uh, impact driver when I'm doing, like, rotors and stuff like that. Then I've got some random tools here. This is to... That's like a ball joint press. I can press the lower control arms. I like the double arm fusions, the Mustangs and stuff like that. Specialty driver bit kit. No, this is the cube. What is this? The Torx Plus sockets. I like the new era F-150 seats and stuff like that have the really wide Torx Plus sockets. I actually have another kit in here. There's a kind of expensive uh, pneumatic. I like this. I'm not really, really good with it. It takes me a few times to get the hang of it. This is just a random, what is this, another, oh, no, this is pulley puller set. No, suspension kit. But that right there, the HFT50, I got it when it was like new. And I've only used it a handful of times for making like brake line flares and stuff. I think I paid like, when it was new, it was like the top of the line, so I, Back when it came out, I paid like $475 for that thing, but I think now you can get it for like 300 bucks or something. This is a bunch of like different plastic tools, different plastic trim tools and stuff. And then Random tools I can take out on the road. I can just grab the whole box and go. It's like a thousand piece set or something. I don't know what it is. A thousand piece husky set if I need tools out on the road. They want to send me somewhere I can go. This is a cylinder leakage tester right here uh, by OTC. I've had this for a number of years. Phenomenal product. Saw blades or like metal, wood, no matter what. This is a 400 some dollar set of uh, cobalt. Cobalt grade bill or uh, grade drill bit set and step bit kit. It's a really nice set. Super, super nice. Well, there you got that goes. And then I bought that Hobart. It was like $179.99 for that welding lid, but because they discontinued it and went to a new model, I got it when it was still on the shelf for like $115.99. I love that lid. And then a brake lockout kit, all my chemicals and stuff here, uh, just all my Panther books. Um, another toolbox with just random sockets, more cases of uh, some Master Allen set, some Master Torx set. This is, no oh wait, yeah, Master Torx set. This is, there's a flip socket kit. It's another eight millimeter or a quarter inch drive quick socket set. If I need to go outside or something, I grab that. This is my pneumatic disc brake or my, uh, my turner to actually turn in the, the disc brake pistons. This is 16 volt, 2000 amp, $100 jump pack, nothing too fancy. Couple bags of lug nuts been saving over the years from people that want their swollen lug nuts changed out and then we just put the good ones in our bag and then when we don't want to put the junk ones back on a customer's vehicle and they don't want to pay for a new one, we'll go try to find the right one that matches their vehicle. It's not junk. These are from an F-150. And they swell. 
these are semi swollen um, but these were saved because the stock it still fits on them sometimes customers come in here and they're really beat up so I saved stuff so I can put better stuff back on their car instead of the junk that they had and what is this this is kind of like my electrical door my probes and stuff like that uh, this is a power steering puller installer set pulley puller set a uh, quarter inch drive beam uh, when I'm doing cylinder heads and I got to do the stage torque this is just a quick battery tester so I don't got to go chase down quick lane mm. This is just a drawer of nothing but random parts and stuff that I've acquired over the years. Just random sockets. If anybody needs anything, they just come over here and get whatever they need. If it's just a junk, you know, just to break something or you're going to hammer a socket on something because nothing's working, just go ahead, go grab it out of the drawer. No problem. Kind of thing. Nothing. Just all junk in here. I need to clear this drawer out. I got a couple tool carts or whatever, nothing too big. Uh, heat gun down there. I, it's, today has been a rough day, as you can see. It's just shit all over the place. And I didn't really have time to organize everything. A three jaw puller, sh uh, shield down there when I'm cutting stuff or whatever. Um, big long funnels and everything that I got to get organized and cleaned out. But that's pretty much the walkthrough. I'm not going and buying. Yeah, see, like we got normal boxes. He's got a normal box. He's got a normal box. He's got a normal box. He's. Uh, Jojo's got a nice, decent box over here. This was a repo and he picked up cheap. He's got a nice one. Um, that's a, probably about as big as I would go. I don't need anything huge. He's got the maximizer over there. That thing's got the freaking huge bottom, deep drawers, double bank, big, tall, giant, massive thing. I don't need all that. None of that stuff even excites me, to be honest with you. I, want, I wish I had this box, but just a little bit wider. And that's all I need. I would I would like to have another box like that over there and get rid of that stuff in that, but just one more box like that so I can put all my specialty tools, go grab all my specialty tools from home and have a specialty box because I have too many plastic boxes with just random, you know, four, five, six hundred dollar tool kits in my storage at home. Now this here, I don't need anything more than what I got right here. This is it. This is what I use every single day and I never really need anything else. The one thing I do want to get is I had to borrow his kit today. But it's like 700 something dollars for the snap on uh, ball joint kit. And I absolutely see he he's the same way. He's just got a couple small boxes. He never had a, a need for And this dude's been doing this stuff. He's a uh, he's a master tech as well. He works on Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Volkswagen, Ford, Chevy, don't matter. You see he's got the box off that truck over there welding a new floor and stuff in the bottom support floor. The guy works on everything, and he said, I've worked out of these three boxes forever, and I've never needed anything else, but I want this kit. I want to get this master ball joint kit. But that's the toolbox walkthrough. You know, I my Mac guy, he's been asking me if I'm ready to upgrade to a bigger box, and I'm, like, so close to being there, even though I don't need it. I thought about, you know what, why not just treat yourself, just get a nice one. Uh, I don't know if I'm ready for that yet. I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money. I'm kind of cheap when it comes to that. I just want a regular box to put my good, nice quality tools in. And I don't need the expensive box. But now, I don't know. We'll see what happens. There's probably one coming in the future. I got a couple lights, you know, these LED lights, 2,000, 1,500. I got a couple headlamps that are nice. and. But anyhow, that's uh, the toolbox tour.